Welcome Citizen Athletics. Today we're talking about deadlifts. Deadlifts are a fantastic category of exercises. They emphasize a hip hinge motion, which is a great way to strengthen up your back as well as work the posterior chain. There's nothing much more functional than picking something heavy up off the floor. When we consider it from a standpoint of activities of daily living, we see that it transfers over to picking things up like your groceries, but then also from a sporting performance standpoint, it helps develop a lot of qualities and characteristics that will transfer on field. With that said, we're talking about deadlifts and there's a range of different deadlift options. And there's some confusion about the types and when you should use them and what they look like. There are three main types of deadlifts that we're gonna talk about today. That's gonna be the conventional deadlift, the Romanian deadlift or RDL, and the stiff-legged deadlift. One of the main things we wanna discuss with that is what's the goal of each type of deadlift? When we're looking at the conventional deadlift, it's the more standard deadlift that most people think of when they think of a deadlift. It's gonna be the style that's most commonly used in powerlifting in most settings. And it's the style that we see a lot of weight lifted with generally. The RDL is a variation that we see utilized a lot. It's gained a lot of popularity in the worlds of weightlifting and we see that it's usually utilized as a hamstring building exercise. The stiff-legged deadlift is a third variation, and this is one where we see people utilize it generally in developing a stronger back. As a simple breakdown, the conventional deadlift is more of an overall builder. We see that the RDL is more of a hamstring focused exercise, and the stiff-legged deadlift is one that emphasizes a little bit more back strength. From a technique standpoint, there's a few main things that we can identify that's different between them, as from a global standpoint, they're very similar. These four main differences are the start and the end, the eccentric component of the lift, the leverages of the lift, and the range of motion utilized. For a conventional deadlift, the starting position is the bottom, and we see that the completion of the lift is done at the top, and when people then finish the lift, sometimes they'll either drop the bar, they'll descend quickly with it, or they'll control it down. In contrast, a Romanian deadlift is usually started at the top. This might be done by either walking it out of a rack or standing it up with a conventional deadlift and then initiating the lift. People will then descend down to a certain depth and then come back up and finish the rep at the top. A stiff-legged deadlift is more representative, similar to a conventional deadlift, where it starts on the bottom and then you finish standing up. People will then either drop the bar or have a controlled motion down. Positioning differs a lot in these movements as in a conventional deadlift, one of the things that we're gonna be doing is getting into that bottom position, generally where we have the knees in between the arms and when you normally see the arms and the knees flush in line in the front with the shoulders stacked over top of the bar. In contrast, with an RDL, we see that the knees shift behind the bar and shift behind the arms, and we have a greater emphasis on posterior motion of the hips. And this is gonna be done to keep the hips higher and further back. We see a similar thing done with a stiff-legged deadlift, except for in a conventional deadlift and an RDL, we usually have the bar stay close to the body, whereas in a stiff-legged deadlift, the bar shifts away from the shins. When we look at the eccentric component of the exercise, as I discussed previously, in a conventional deadlift and a stiff-legged deadlift, sometimes there's little to no eccentric exercise aspect and the bar is just dropped. This might be in a complete let go of the bar or it might be in a controlled format. In contrast with an RDL or Romanian deadlift, we see it controlled down and there's a greater emphasis on the eccentric motion. This may be done with a pause or utilizing the stretch reflex to come back out of the bottom. When we're looking at the leverages, we see that this changes quite significantly between the exercises. In the conventional deadlift, we let the knees come forward between the arms and this allows us to utilize a little bit more thigh motion, thigh strength, and that way we have a reduced amount of challenge to the lower back and be able to have a little bit more split between the thighs and the back. In contrast, during the RDL and the stiff-legged deadlift, we don't do that. We don't let the knees bend forward as much. We keep a more vertical shin and emphasize using the hips and the back. Similarly, during the stiff-legged deadlift, we actually exaggerate that further by keeping the bar further away, having a longer moment arm challenging the back even more. And finally, range of motion. Because in the stiff-legged deadlift and in the RDL, we have minimal knee bend occur, this puts a greater demand and greater challenge on hip range of motion. When we're deadlifting, one of the things that we try to minimize usually is the amount of motion that occurs to the lower back. We're usually doing this by trying to maintain what many would call a neutral spine. And in order to do that, we have to be able to go through hip flexion. In a stiff-legged deadlift, in a Romanian deadlift where you go all the way down, would put a higher demand on being able to go through hip flexion without going into lumbar flexion. So those are the major components of the three variations of a deadlift. We hope that you like this video. If you want more breakdowns on differences between exercises, tap that like button and subscribe for more great content from Citizen Athletics.